for the 13th annual Jennifer Kane Memorial Tournament. Special thanks to two people that make this possible today, and that is Nicole Bocci, who's the Vice President of Softball here at Plymouth Youth Baseball, and Softball. And also Shelby Smith, who does all the stuff behind the scenes and gets no credit for it as well. None of this is possible without the help of both Nicole and Shelby, along with the rest of the softball staff, Jim Hanna, Tom Durrett, and everyone else that uh, helps out here at Plymouth Youth Baseball and Softball. My name is Brian Fabry, I'm the president here. And again, it's an honor to stand in front of you with the Kane family here as well. And we're here under the premise of honoring all the presidents that have come before me. Um, I wanna mention this person's name because he kind of went away without being honored at opening day as well. Um, he put in at least 10 to 11 years, if I'm not mistaken. Not only is the president for five years, but six or seven years prior to that, in various roles. He currently is still the treasurer of the Babe Ruth uh, group for the 13, 14, 15, and 16 year old baseball division behind the scenes. And he is the owner and operator of Nolan Insurance Services in Plymouth and Manomet here down on the South Shore. Please welcome Brian Nolan to the stage. Sorry for putting you up. Thank you. Uh, thank you once again to everyone here. Um, Jim Hanna's already telling me to wrap it up. I apologize, but if you see me with a microphone in my hand, it's not going to be short. Test. Oh, better. Uh, first of all, I want to start off by thanking Brian Fabry, uh, the PYBS Board of Directors, all the kids participating, all the coaches, everything that goes on behind the scenes. This is, you know, one of the greatest weekends for me uh, of the program. You know, it's one of the best events of the year, and best of luck to all the Plymouth teams and all the other teams that are here, but mostly the Plymouth teams. <laughs> I'd be remiss if I did not acknowledge um, the efforts, uh, the contributions of uh, George and Faye Kane, who will refuse to uh, acknowledge or come out in the field. So I'm just gonna point them out. They're over there behind the, uh, the bleachers over there. It is their daughter uh, who was lost on 9-11 for whom this tournament is uh, held in memory of. They have donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to this league. The concession stand that you see, the signage, wouldn't be possible without George and Faye Kane and their wonderful family. So thank you very much. The reason I asked you to delay your second game today or your first game was not to honor former presidents. It was to honor a former president. And that former president, contributions to this league cannot be overstated. There's nobody that I have ever met in youth sports who's more humble or more dedicated to the children of Plymouth, both boys and girls. His name is Mike Paul. Mike began on the board over 19 years ago. He began when his son was in T-ball and he continued long after his younger daughter had graduated through the program. He held many positions from softball coordinator, T-ball coordinator, treasurer, president, chief cook and bottle washer. He did everything. He did everything behind the scenes and he did everything well. What people don't know is Mike took over the league after a very tough time in the league. And the, the league was literally on the verge of collapse. Uh, there was a, 
let's just call them accounting discrepancies that he inherited with his board. He didn't do it alone. Uh, there was a uh, tremendous core of board members with him at the time, uh, Sammy Viscarello, Dwayne Follett, Bill Sims, and Bill Mitchell. They all were instrumental in saving this league and making what you see here today possible. I want you to look around at all the fields and I want you to pretend there are no dugouts and no scoreboards because that's what he inherited. He inherited a field with just benches and a fence. Through his efforts, not only was this infrastructure made possible with scoreboards on every field, dugouts on every field, a new batting cage, and his help with the Kane Family Charitable Trust, building the Kane Memorial Concession Stand, gives us one of the greatest places to play sports on the South Shore. During his tenure, he took over a league that had over 800 kids, 65 teams, and eight divisions. He was able to restore fiscal order to the league and confidence in the league in the way it was being run. Mike never favored any sides. He had a daughter and a son, and he didn't take baseball over softball or softball over baseball. He built what I consider to be this softball program. Yes, we had a softball program, but we didn't have any leadership. Mike, along with the help of Paul Bitterman and the uh, recently departed Lynn Joseph, helped build these divisions. He helped build the Farm League softball division. Up until Mike was president, girls up to 10 years old were playing baseball. Mike put the Farm League softball division in. He got competitive baseball, uh, competitive softball like you girls are playing today to be part of the norm. The boys always had it, the girls were gonna have it too. He did all of this without any, any help. I shouldn't say any help. He did all of this without any goading. He did it on his own. He performed, you know, you girls, a lot of you girls take part in winter pitching clinics. Uh, winter hitting clinics, those were all part of Mike Paul's uh, dreams and he made them, uh, you know, he made them a reality. I'll be honest with you, I didn't always agree with Mike Paul. I didn't always agree with his decisions. However, in looking back, nobody can ever question what he did. He only did things in the, for the benefit of the league. He didn't care what your stake in, what, in it was and he didn't care what his stake in it was. His only question he asked himself is, what is the best thing for the league? Nobody can ever question his integrity, his decision making, and his honesty. One of the big decisions this league made years ago was going from Little League to Cal Ripken uh, on the baseball side of things. And there was a lot of pushback from the membership in baseball, a lot of the a lot of the baseball guys wanted to move to Cal Ripken. Mike thought it would be better to stay with Little League. Mike lost the vote, and he wasn't happy about it. But even though he wasn't happy about it, he implemented it at the board's at the, as the board's request, and he did everything he could to make the transition smooth and a good. Dis for the league. That's the type of person he is. Even if it didn't go his way, he gave 100% effort for the benefit of the league. The best baseball movie ever is Field of Dreams. James Earl Jones said, the one constant through all the years, Ray, has been baseball. America has rolled by like an army of steamrollers. It has been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. Baseball is marked this time. This field, this game, it's part of our past, Ray. It reminds us all that once, what was once good and that could be good again. Oh, the people will come, Ray. The people will most definitely come. The one constant that I had when I served on the board and had my children go through this program was Mike Paul. He's the one thing to sustain this league and has allowed you kids to participate. And I would like to give Mike Paul a heartwarming thank you for a man I call a friend and a mentor. Come on out here, Mike.
Mike, I want you to take a look out to, uh, to the scoreboard, please. And uh, we got a little treat for you up there.